Hi, I'm Andrew Gebhardt for CNET. Today I'm taking a look at the Bissell Bolt Ion 2-in-1 Lightweight Cordless Vacuum. It's terrible. Like one of the worst vacuums we've ever tested. It does have a few unique features. You can get under the furniture easily with the pivoting handle and its edge reach focuses airflow to get the sides of the floor more easily. I just wish it had a button to help you, I don't know, vacuum the middle of the floor because my gosh, is it bad at that. On pet hair, it tangles everything and grinds it into the carpet. On Cheerios, it makes crumbs. It's completely improperly balanced, especially with the hand vac removed. It's gonna fall over front to back constantly and the pivoting head means even if you get it right front to back, it's gonna tip to one of the sides and removing the hand vac, well, let me put it this way. It's not intuitive at all to the point where I challenged everyone in our office to see if they could figure out how to do it intuitively. Everybody tried and tried, but without the instruction manual, okay. we would all wow. still be stuck. The solution is just to tug on the thing, but tugging on it feels like you're gonna break it. It's definitely not easy, and you don't wanna get this back for any sort of elderly parent who doesn't have upper arm strength. And here's the thing. Ease of use is supposed to be the point of stick vacs. You want a vac that you can grab for a quick and easy cleaning. Not only will this one take much longer to get out, pull out the pain in the butt hand vac to empty the dust bin, clean off the filter, and put back on the hit or miss charging stand. But most of the time, the way it tangles or flings dirt, your floor is gonna end up worse than when you start. Pass on the Bissell Bolt Ion. For the same $180 cost, you can get the excellent Hoover Lynx. By comparison, this thing is really not worth it. For more, please be sure to check out my full review and all of our other vacuum coverage on CNET.com. For CNET, I'm Andrew Gebhardt.